All right, hey guys, we're just uh, kind of just updating you on how anatomy is going to go from here on out, and uh, just kind of a reminder for a lot of things. Um, level one is um, basically just when we take a system and we start looking at it, like our new system today is going to starting today is the endocrine system, and what we want to really understand to begin with the endocrine system and what we're watching for in videos and as we outline the textbook and things like that are basically important words and definitions, all the organs, all the glands, all the hormones that are involved with the endocrine system, all that stuff would be really important to look at. And that's kind of level one. And once you have level one, it makes it a lot easier to move on to level two, which I'll explain in a second, but this is gonna be the symbol for level one. And if you're following me on Instagram, I posted this picture yesterday and asked you to just list organs and glands and hormones of the endocrine system. By the way, I keep saying organs, but glands are the organs of the endocrine system. All right, now, after we get past that a little bit, and after you feel more comfortable with that, you can move on to like level two. And this is what you should be looking for. This is about how the processes work together, okay? How does it impact our life processes and other systems? Okay, um, and how it's related to other organ systems that you already know about, like how does it affect the heartbeat, blood pressure, things like that, digestion, and this is the symbol for that. So when you see that symbol on Instagram or on the internet, on any of the stuff that I'll be giving you for the next couple of weeks, that's what you're looking at, and you're looking for relationships and processes. So as you're taking notes on those videos, look and listen for processes and relationships. When we get to level three, that's when we start getting into um, the hard stuff, a little bit harder, but the physiology of it. And some of you are really good at this, and some of you, you struggle a little bit, and that's okay. That's why every test, every quiz is retakeable. And if you take every quiz, you can look at it. It's gonna tell you what the right answers are. So you can actually use that to take notes. And any notes you show me, if they're a page or longer, they'll be worth like 10 points. Okay, so this is the symbol. Okay, this is our, our famous homeostasis graph. And so all the time you're thinking about what's the consequence of too much, what's the consequence of too little, what's the set point, and what happens when an organ secretes too much or too little of things, what are the conditions that you get? Okay, or how does the body regulate itself if something goes over? Next, we're gonna get to level four. And this is just at the very end of studying any sort of unit that we're gonna look at. And this is basically, how do we keep that organ system healthy? What do we do when it isn't? And how is it affected by stress, aging, diet, exercise, disease, and genetics? Those five things that basically cause us stress and disrupt our homeostasis. And you're gonna look for that symbol. When you see that symbol, that's what you're thinking about. So when you watch a video and it talks about hypothyroidism, okay, um, how do we fix that? What is it caused by? All sorts of things. So again, please email me, ask questions, check the website every day. Thanks. Bye.